Okay. Oh, come on. Here we go. Working. All right, then. And there we go. All right. My apologies. It uh, it decided that it wanted to be a pain in the ass this morning. All right. So this is good. And this is good. All right. Hello, Michelle. Hi, Mari. Nice to see you, Nina. Jennifer's in the room. We'll wait for everybody else to get here. There's quite a few people in the other room room and then you know uh patty ann is here patty ann that's my person hold on patty sweetie this is our game for the week hey ma <laughs> um so i picked this up at the thrift store it is 29 inches around it is nine and a half inches tall there are at least 12 spools of ribbon there's lace there's uh appliques there is ribbon trim uh baker's twine there's um yarn in here all kinds of stuff so today as soon as we're done with the feud i'm gonna open this up we're gonna count it one piece at a time and and we're not going by style so if there's two pieces in here of this red polka dot, it's going to count as two pieces, okay? I'm going to give you a peek in the top. I need you to guess how many pieces are in here for a prize. Um, I have guesses so far from Alexa, from Sharon, from Carla, from Tina, from Hags, Diane, uh, Brian, Amy, Valeria, Francis, Heather, Misty, Arlene, Michelle, Mary, Adria, and Mari. So we just need Patty Ann. And Jennifer. And then Patty Ann says 124. Hi, Zoe. Yep, we need one from Zoe, too. Nina, I think it's going to be well over 20 pieces. Hello, Miss Christine. Uh, we don't have Christine in here yet. Okay, so ready? We're going to do this one more time. This is my jar. It is one hundred. Uh, it is twenty nine inches around at its fattest point. It is nine and a half inches tall. According to the the label, it's forty four ounces. I don't know if that's going to help you. One point two four seven kilograms. Okay. <sighs> Here's your sneaky peeky. I do not know how much is in here. Um, there are spools in here that count as one. There's baker's twine that's going to count as one. There's yarn that's going to count as one. 
there's appliques and lace and ribbon and velvet ribbon and just this stuff here with the rhinestones on it, um, all kinds of stuff. This is not the prize. Um, but we're guessing how many pieces of trim, lace, whatever are in here. Uh, if there's two pieces that are the same, like this red polka dot, it's going to count as two pieces. Okay? So. <laughs> and you're just like, I'm sleepy. Well, pick a number higher. Not a million. Come on, Neater. Something in the middle. Uh <laughs> Uh, so I'm looking for numbers from Jennifer, Zoe, Nina, and Christine. So if you ladies want to get in on this, put in a number. Nina says 101. Okay, well, somebody else already has that number, but you know what? I'll give you 102. How's that? I'll give you 102. Christine says 327. Zoe says 284. Nine hundred and eleven pieces. How much how big do you think this jar is? <laughs> Come on, Jennifer. Get it together, girl. Wake up. <laughs> I think I said five hundred was you and Sandra. Sides, I ain't counting nine hundred and eleven. <laughs> It's an emergency stash. <laughs> now she wants information. 311. <laughs> she still needs to. Jennifer, is there something going on? Are you trying to tell us that you need the police? What? She's in Washington. My brain hurts. All right. So we're going to be doing that at the end of the game. Okay. If I miss somebody, I apologize. I'm trying to do 16 things at once. My head is pounding. And um, I still have nine and a half videos to record today. So I had 10 last night. I've recorded one and a half today. Somehow I ended up with 11 because I made a video for Amy. <laughs> Too cold. <laughs> so um, again, if you're just coming in and joining us, um, we have a 29 inch round bucket, nine and a half inches tall, uh, individual pieces. How many late pieces of lace trim or other decor is in there? That's it. We're going to get started with the feud. So. Rock, 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 rock. Here they come. Uh, the rules of the feud. Anyone can play. All answers must be given prior to the stop. Answers after the stop are not counted. Answers will be scored based on ranking. So if you get the top answer, you get five points. Four, three, two, one. Anything after five answers gets one point. Um, as far as the count, I will give you, I'll read the question at least twice. I will give you a five, four, three, two, one. And when you see my finger leave the screen, I will hit stop. It looks like this. No answers after that. Each player's their own team. No Googling is allowed. If you go and you Google the question and it gives you a different answer, tough tutus, okay? What's on my cards? Uh, weekly prizes as well as monthly prizes will be awarded in the event of a tie. The tie will be resolved by a number draw. Numbers will be randomly drawn until the winner of the top scores is found. So as you play, as I get the answers, we put you in a numbered slot. That is your number. Okay, you must be subscribed to my channel. Have no outstanding unpaid orders. Provide me with some shipping information. This game is open to everyone. However, only those in the continental United States are eligible for fiscal prizes. If 
if you live outside of the continental United States, I will send you a digital. All right. Now, more business. More business. We got more business. Um, we're going into the next week. And the next, uh, this the current week is white on white for our 52 card challenge. Um, and the next one is black and white. So I will be doing that Wednesday. You guys, of course, can start whenever you want. Um, so here's the thing. Here's the list. Uh, for our ephemera swap that we're doing, you know, the swap. Um, Sabrina is sending to Tina M. Tina M is sending to Zoe. Zoe is sending to Mary Kay. Mary Kay is sending to Francis. Francis is sending to Arlene. Arlene is sending to Amy. Amy is sending to Mari. Mari is sending to Adria. Adria is sending to Patty Ann. Patty Ann is sending to Jennifer. Jennifer is, Sharon, is sending to Sharon L. Sharon is sending to Heather and Heather is sending to Sabrina. So if you have not received yours, let me know. Um, I'm going to give it till... Let's just give it to the end of the month. If you haven't received it by the end of the month, you let me know. Okay. That's it. That's all she wrote. That's all our business for today. One more quick look for anybody who doesn't have their answer in uh, 29 inches around, nine and a half inches tall. This is your sneak peek. There is everything in here from appliques to leather to blingity bling to spools of stuff to yarn to uh, baker's twine. It's all in here. I have no idea what's in there because I have not done anything more than this. Haven't touched any of it yet. You have no idea how hard it is to keep the, swir the squirrel from getting in this jar. Yes. Jennifer is out of town. I know that. She's told me she's out of town. I know she's out of town. She has a family emergency. And so she will be sending, she, she's just had a real bad month. Um, not a bad month. I mean, she had to go see her son who turned, you know, 18 and, and he's in the military. So she went to go see him and then she's got uh, a sick family member. So she had to take her mom for that. And it's, she's been, yeah, a little chaotic. So, um, uh, Sharon, uh, she'll get it when she comes home, baby. Okay? All right, let me see. Uh -huh. Candy, you're not on my list, babe. I don't have an answer from you. And I don't see a number here anywhere. Hey, Chris. And I don't have one from Chris either. I don't think. Let me check. No, I don't have Chris either. Miss Francis. Yes, ma'am. 205. Two fifty seven for you, Miss Candy. Looks like a good number. Chris, this is not about um, this is not about playing. This is about guessing what's in the bucket. We're doing that kid game: um, lace, ribbon, trim, appliques, elastic, leather. It's all in here. Uh, guess how many pieces are in here and win a prize. Twenty nine inches around in the circumference, nine and a half inches tall. Um, there's baker's twine spools of ribbon each spool counts as one piece um but if we get double pieces like this polka dotted ribbon if there's two pieces of that it'll count as two separate pieces okay 302 302 nice number chris 302 can you play what not 302 okay chris put in another number <laughs> Sandra, can you play what? Yes, you can guess. If you want this 
the prize, yes, you're not getting this. This is not the prize. This I'm going to play with. All right, 259. Okay, 259 for Chris. And 175. Okay, that's everybody. Jennifer, my final answer. 311. <laughs> yes, we know, Jennifer. It's an emergency stash. I honestly, I have not been past this. Okay, and getting the squirrel to not put her hand in there because the minute I opened it, she was like, uh, and I was like, no. <laughs> Y'all know what the squirrel's like. Um, <laughs> all right, so now I'm going to put that away for now. Uh, and we'll get started on our game today because we're we're way late. Here we go. All right, ladies, we asked 100 married women, name a specific place your husband spends so much time, he should just live there. I know it does look interesting, doesn't it? It's somebody's stash. That's what it is. And uh, I don't know. They got tired, decided not to craft anymore, whatever it is. But they dropped it off at my local thrift store. And uh, I happened to be there when the girl walked out and put it on the, on the thing. And I went, ah, ha, ha. and I picked it up. The price was right. And I went, I'm going to get this and we're going to play a game with it because it's fun. Uh, we asked 100 married women, name a specific place your husband spends so much time. He should just live there. Candy had a crack of land. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Should we send help? <laughs> yes. Help, oh, please. <laughs> Somebody quick. Somebody who lives in New Jersey. Get to Candy's house. <laughs> All right, last time I'm going to ask this one. We asked 100 married women, name a specific place your husband spends so much time that he should just live there in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Send the jaws of life. <laughs> well, it depends on how big her collection is, right? All right, guys, there's your stop. Um, so we asked 100 married women, name a specific place your husband spends so much time that he should just live there. Uh, number one answer, work. Number two, the gym. These are not 100 women our age, trust me. Uh, number three, the garage. Number four, the bathroom. Number five, a bar or sports bar. And then number six is man cave or TV, which I think, man cave garage so uh we're gonna if you said man cave or you know tv it's gonna be garage all right it's gonna be three so here we go we're going to the top number oh jennifer got in first this time miss jennifer and miss jennifer said on the commode he's on the he's on the throne or in my house, as we call it, the petting chair. Mari. Mari, you get three, baby. <laughs> Carla. Two. <laughs> oh, Nina. Miss Nina, you said the bar. It's still a point, babe. <laughs> now, see, I think that this would be upside down backwards the other way if they asked women our age. <laughs> candy says his chair. I'm going to say that's man cave. That's a three, Candy. She she reached out from under her craft ledge to push the button. <laughs> On the sofa, Miss Zoe. Three for you as well. Christine. Uh, 
to Miss Francis. Two. Sash. Two. <laughs> and Patty Ann. Patty Ann said the bathroom. Two. All right. Did I miss anybody? There are 17 people watching and I have 10 answers so far. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. With 17 people, me being one of them. Okay, so 16 people. Does that mean six people are lurking? I'm lurking. That's six people potentially not on my sheet. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and take a look at question number two. Oh, my God. Oh, do tell. Mari, I count as two. Okay. Nina's like lurking, lurking, lurking. Okay. So, you were on the sofa. Three points. Man cave. Yes. You got it. Hush. All right. Next question. Oh, ladies. This one's very simple. Name a place Grandpa goes... With his Viagra. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes, you heard that right. Name a place Grandpa goes with his Viagra. Where does he live? Vegas, and we'd be heading down to Boulder. No, honey. That's Perot. Over the hump in Perot. Right, but there's a Boulder Highway. Not the same. Well, I mean, like I said, it's over where he lives. Name a place that Grandpa goes with his Viagra. <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> Quietly off to the bathroom with his cell phone. <laughs> All right. Name a place that Grandpa goes with his Viagra in five, four, three, two, one. Yes, we call it going over the hump into Peru. Because that's the only place it's legal. Except for this one little, like, two-block stretch in Vegas itself because it's unincorporated. It's it's county, not city. It, it's not even the county. It's it's weird, but it's not an incorporated area. So, like, there's this one little two-block area where it's legal. It's weird. Weird. All right. Number one answer. He goes home to go to bed with Grandma. We hope. Number two. He goes on vacation. South Beach. Number three, to the bar. Number four, to the senior home. And number five, to a strip club. Grandpa, that's going to be awkward. Bye, Mari. We're going to have an update on that in a second, Francis. All right. Chris says he goes to bingo. Chris, I'm sorry to say that's a no. <laughs> He's going to go get a bingo. <laughs> All right. Jennifer said the bedroom. Yes. Five points, Miss Jennifer. Uh, Christine said bedroom. Five points for Miss Christine. He goes to town. I'm going to say that's probably vacation, you know? So Nina is going to get four. Uh, Sandra, Zoe, and Mari and Carla all get five. Patty Ann, five. 
I think he should get six if he remembers to close the door. Um, Francis, five. And Miss Candy said, where is Candy? Hold on. We don't have a can yet. Candy, are you still alive, babe? Are you still breathing? Don't worry. We're in the middle of that craft lunch. She's buried. Okay. Let's let's give her a point just for being buried. All right. <laughs> Next question. We asked 100 women, name something you don't bother putting on if you're not leaving the house. We asked 100 women, name something you don't bother wearing if you're not leaving the house. All right, in five. We asked 100 women, name something you don't bother wearing if you're not leaving the house. Five, four, three, two, one. We all know the answer to this question. That's right. Number one answer, the bra, the brassiere, the boulder holder, the annoying weightlifting device. That's right. Five points. <laughs> uh, then we have makeup, shoes, panties, or pants. So, Neener gets a point. And everybody else got five. Okay. Here, I'm going to put the stop in just so we're nice and legitimate. Uh, yeah, that one was super easy. Um, <laughs> honey? No, he's in the potty now. We'll wait till he comes back out. Oh my god. This one is this one's based on bestiality. Here we go. Need her on pantsless now. How you doing up there? I I I saw that uh they they are issuing all kinds of warnings for snow today. Are you doing okay? You good? So far, okay. Make an animal sound that turns a farmer on. <laughs> yeah, it's coming. They, they said it's coming. And you guys just got it last week too, right? Make an animal sound that turns a farmer on. Bah, look a sheep. <laughs> no, nah, it's good. It's good. We're good. It's okay. I see it. All right. Name an animal sound that turns a farmer on in five, four. Hold on. I got a hair. Three. <laughs> <laughs> One. Number one answer. Ooh. Number two. Bah. Number three. Oink. I don't know how to do that one. Four. Cock and doodle doo. Number five. Cluck, cluck, or nay. Nee. 
All right, so let's go up to the top. Uh, Sandra, four points for Miss Sash. There we go, four points. Four points for Miss Carla. Zo, it's a big fiber there, babe. Candy, four. Neener, five. Christine, five. Jennifer, eh. Francis, four. Chris, four. Patty Ann, four. And Mari left us. Bye, Jennifer. Safe trip, honey. I'll see you when you get home. Question number five. Bye, Mom. <laughs> Oh my God. This might be the question that Carla's waited her whole life to hear. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, let's just light the candle on this. I'm telling you guys, this Blackberry brandy that Hubbard got me. Oh my God. It is so good. Okay. Name a circus performer who would be a lot more fun to watch if they performed naked. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Poor Candy's laying there under her craft lunch and the cats are like, are you going to die soon? We want to eat your eyes. <laughs> oh, that's not even right. Name a circus performer who would be a lot more fun to watch if they performed naked. Ooh. <laughs> ah. Ooh. <laughs> there are some things that I wouldn't want to be doing naked at the circus. <laughs> I got to tell you, Cirque du Soleil is practically naked. Uh, name a circus performer who would be a lot more fun to watch if they perform naked. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, the 12-year-old that lives inside of Carla just jumped for joy. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh, name a circus performer who would be a lot more fun to watch if they perform naked in five Four, three, two. Oh. <laughs> yes, they might be an appetizer. Oh. <laughs> Number one answer, the uh, trapeze bat or contortionist number two a clown number three the animal tamer <laughs> number four a tightrope walker oh number five uh that's going to be the magician the fire eater dancer or juggler specifically of knives <laughs> oh, shit. okay speaking of animal tamers candy's cats are watching her right now <laughs> Carla said, the contortionist. Guess what? Five points, Carla. Acrobat, acrobat, acrobat. Five points for Miss Patty Ann. Trapeze, meaner, five points. 
Christine Aerialist. That is a trapeze artist. So five. There we go. Candy set. The trapeze. Five. Zo trapeze. Five points. Sandra said the animal tamer. That's a three. But still the funniest one. <laughs> Chris said the ringleader. That is a five. No, sorry, three. I have to look at my card. It is Animal Tamer, tamer or Ringleader. Uh, let's see. Francis, Trapeze, that's five. Miss Janice! She ain't with the clown. That's a four. And Mari went away, right? Right, right. Was I right? Mari left. Mari left. Mari left. Mari left. Did Mari say she had to go? I got no refresh. Yes, big nose, red shoes, naked. Very funny. <laughs> okay, so I think Mari had to leave, so she didn't get nothing on that one. All right, so we're waiting for Hubbard, and we're going to do his update. Let me check my list real quick, because I don't think Janice is on here either. She's not. Oh, nothing. We're waiting for you. What? Hold on. Oh, the big bow tie makes the outfit. All right, Miss Janice, you think about this for a second. This sucker is 29 inches around. It is ten, nine and a half inches tall. Here's your sneaky peeky. It has... Spools of ribbon, which count as one. There is yarn, baker's twine, velvet ribbon, regular ribbon, lace trim, appliques. Uh, there's this rhinestone stuff, pieces of uh, trim, all kinds of stuff in here. If there's two pieces like this red with white polka dots and there's two pieces it counts as two guess how many pieces are in the jar you win a prize think about it for a minute uh and you can give me a number let's see it oh the ladies want to see oh they want their update right. Right. Oh, well you know getting at your desk is always a chore it's not a chore it's just a obstacle course Okay, and as a side note, ladies, in reference to this jar, I don't know how well you can see it on the video. When she moves it around, there is not a whole lot of movement, movement. in the container, so it is pretty. So, as you can see, all the discoloration pretty much has gone away. Um, well, no, it's still in that one spot. Go ahead. He has flex, which he hasn't had in days. I can't. Okay, for that, you want to see There you that go. Way. See? I, I couldn't get more than that yesterday, but I'm getting this now. So. so he's got nice flex. But you can still see, like, right here, whatever the hell that is. Yeah, give me this. Uh -huh. Now put both hands up there so they can see that the swelling's gone down. Look at how nice the swelling has gone down. Yes, much less puffy. Okay, now you can have your brace back. Go away. Okay. All right, let me see. Janice said 279. Yeah, there is not a lot of movement or. It doesn't jiggle around much when you move it in there. Yeah. Meaning your jar. <clears throat> no, it does not. I'll it, give it to Shook. Look, nothing really moves. Shows, yeah, I don't know if that'll show too well in the video, but. Nothing no... really moves, okay? It's pretty solid. Where's your pain level, they want to know? Oh, 
it's gone from like a one to two constant to no, not really. So <coughs> unless I whack it or try to do like I just did, you know. Hi, Roseanne. So, um, yeah, so he's going to uh, keep the brace on at least until he goes back to work on Wednesday. He's taken today off. Thank God. So he has four days off because he's he, he only works four days a week, which is why I have three days a week off here. And I'm on four days a week because um, I, I mirror his schedule uh, and it allows me to film on Mondays and Tuesdays. So. Um, so he he's usually off on Saturday, Monday, Tuesday. So he went ahead and he took Sunday. So he's off Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So he took four days off. And uh, to rest his hand and let it, you know, recuperate. And um, he's he's kept the brace on. He's been a good boy. And um, he's not overusing it. Like yesterday, he took a shower. I went in and washed his back for him and did his hair because, you know, you can't do your hair with one hand. It's a pain in the ass. Um, so we got all of that done. <clears throat> let me see here. Uh, Roseanne, you're not on my list. Twenty nine inches around, nine and a half inches tall. Here's a sneaky peeky. Y'all have, I'm telling you, y'all have no idea how hard to keep the squirrel out of here. Um, it, there are spools of ribbon in here. There is yarn in here. There is baker's twine in here. There's leather in here. There is lace trims, appliques, whatever the hell this glittery stuff over here is. Uh, and this, whatever that is, that's a big, whatever appliques, all kinds of stuff. There's velvet ribbon in here. Um, if anybody is interested, it's an Oots holiday pretzel shape jar. It is 44 ounces. 1.247 kilograms is the weight on this. Um, well, according to them, I can tell you how much it is on the scale. Uh, but guess how many pieces are in here? If there's two pieces is the same stuff in here, like the exact same lace, like, um, where is it? Here, white with red polka dots. If there's two pieces, it counts as two pieces. Guess how many pieces are in the jar and you win a prize. Closest, I don't care if it's over or under, closest person gets it, 179. Making sure that there's nobody else that's close, like right on top of that, 179. There we go. Okay. All right. Here we go. Question number six. Name a game people play at parties that a couple might play in the bedroom. Name a game that people play at parties that a couple might play in the bedroom. Oh, no, you just missed the 12-year-old question. I'm telling you, Carla waited her whole life to hear that when the 12-year-old boy inside of her jumped up and down and, and giggled like crazy. What was the question? Name a circus performer that would be a lot more fun to watch if they performed naked. Carla's answer? Contortionist. <laughs> I was thinking acrobat. But, you know, hey. Yeah, that's think. part yeah. of the number one. The number yeah. one answers were trapeze, acrobat, or contortionist. All right. Name a game people play at parties that a couple might play in the bedroom. In five. Four. Three. Cool. <laughs> Bless you, honey. Bless you again, my darling. And one more time. Everybody is saying bless you. Thank 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 you. All right. So name a game people play at parties that a couple might play in the bedroom. Number one, poker, strip poker. Number two, twister. Number three, spin the bottle. Number four, charades. And number five, hide and seek, truth or dare, or role play dress up. I want to see the role play party. I want to go. <laughs> oh, wait, you got a, you got a, you got a gazoom type. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't Don't Kishan. Don't Kishan. 
He's German, you know. I am. I am half German. I've been there a couple times. My mother. Was, <laughs> my mother was originally from Bogotá. Candy says she crawled out from under the craft lynch to say bless you. Oh, thank you, Candy. Appreciate that. <laughs> she's she's had a craft lynch. The cats are staring at her. Oh. Well, okay. She's okay to breathe, and I'm happy. Yeah, she well, she said send help. Oh, where is she again? Uh, New Jersey. Send Tom. <laughs> yeah, he's closer. All right, Miss Janice said Twister. Four points for you, my dear. Zoe, four points for the Twister. Naked Twister. Naked. Uh, Patty Ann, Sandra, and Roseanne all said spin the bottle. Three points for you, ladies. All right, let's see. Meaner said twister. Four points. Christine? Chris? Both said spinny the bottle. Christine and Chris. You get the four points. Yes? No, three points. Three points. Francis said the twister. Four points. Carla said twister. Four points. Uh, I'm going to refresh. So I'm not seeing answers from Candy or Mari. If anybody sees one, let me know. Pretty sure Mari left. I think she said bye-bye. Hi, Brian. Oh, Mari's just listening. Okay. And I didn't see an answer from Candy and nobody else has said they saw one. So we're going to call that a thing and move on. Oh, my. Oh, my. Ladies, name a kind of fish that describes your man in the bedroom. Name a kind of fish that describes your man in the bedroom. I gotta put Goofy and Goofy out. Come on. Come on, Ethan. Not you. Out you go. Name a kind of fish that describes your man in the bedroom. In five, four, three, Two, one. All right, ladies, naming a kind of fish that describes your man in the bedroom. The number one answer is a shark or hammerhead. Shark, hammerhead, or whale. Number two, a salmon. 
Number three, a dead fish. Number four, a goldfish. Number five, the flounder. <laughs> oh, crap. All right, Chris said a whale. That's five points for Miss Chris. Here we go. Sanders said flounder. That's one. Zoe said eel. I'm sorry, Zoe. Eel is not on here. Although, yeah. Christine said a barracuda. Now, I don't know if technically a barracuda is part of the shark family, but I don't think so. Should be. Ooh, barracuda. No, yes, but is it a shark? No. No, I didn't think so. Well, yeah, I mean, they're both fish, really. The, yeah, yeah, I know yeah. that, but the question is, name a fish that describes your man. So. Barracuda would be along with shark. All right, Christine, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go with a zero on that one. Sorry, babe. Um, Janice said the flounder. Five points for Miss Janice. Catfish. Not on the list. Dangerous though, Mari. Very dangerous fish. Uh, Carla said a flounder. That's a point. Francis said shark. Five. Patty Ann said tiger shark. Five points. Eel. Sorry. No eel meaner. Candy. It's a point. Roseanne. Let's see. Shark. Oh, crap. You're right, Janice. Thank you. One point for you. I know. What's up with the goldfish? He's meek. He's meek. Apparently, he's slightly less meek than a dead fish. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Name something that too much of can be a bad thing. There are only four answers on this. Name something that too much of can be a bad thing. Whoa. Hi, baby. Did you just wake up? Did you just wake up? Yeah, you was napping, kitty napping over there in the kitty cave. I saw you napping. I heard you snoring. Yeah, you snore cute. Hey, BB. Name something that too much of can be a bad thing. Hey, honey. You're in a mood, huh? You want to be left on? Yeah, you'll be loved on. I know. I know. I know. Nobody ever loves on the kitty. No, they just ignore him and he's so neglected. Yes. Kitty, kitty, kitty. All right. Name something that too much of can be a bad thing. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. All righty. Number one answer. Alcohol, booze, beer, spirits. Number two, food or sweets. 
Number three is money. I don't know how that can be a thing. Uh, and number four, drugs or crack. Don't look at me. It's on the card. Okay. Up to the top. Chris said, candy. Candy is dandy, but liquor is quicker, so candy only gets you four. Neener, Sash, five points. Zo, food, four points. Roseanne, Francis, Janice, five points. Carla, Christine, and Mari, five points. I'm going to refresh. Patty Ann said six. Uh, I'm sorry that's not on there, but I'm giving you a point anyway, because yes, it can be. Uh, and Miss Candy said six. You two are getting a point. Whew. Wow. A man knows his marriage is over. When his wife brings what to bed? Yeah. A man knows his marriage is over when his wife brings what to bed? With that, I'm going to go get a drink. Right after I give the cat some treats. <clears throat> All right, a man knows his marriage is over when his wife brings what to bed? In five, four, three, two, Number one answer. The taser. Her <laughs> lover or his buddies. Number two, a toy. A taser. <clears throat> number three, some kind of stuffed animal or doll. Uh, number four, her cell phone. Number five, a book or Kindle. A Great Dane <laughs> or a pet. Uh, or seven, a body pillow. Now I got to tell you. Um, I bring at least two of these to my, to bed and, uh, his marriage is not over. <laughs> I'm just a giant a child. In there as well. He's got a body pillow as well. To be honest, we have two of them. It's, it's to keep the heater away from me at night. <laughs> I am the heater. He is the heater. <laughs> I am going through menopause and can't stand being hot when I'm trying to sleep and or touched or touched. 
And, uh, you know, he's at a natural 120 degrees. Pretty much. All right. So let's go up to the top. Uh, Sandra said Bob. We all know what Bob is. That's four points. Roseanne said she, he brings a lover. That's five for Miss Roseanne. Chris says the dogs. You know what? It's on here. It's a point, Chris. Dang. Candy says a toy. Four points for Miss Candy. So, <clears throat> five points. If they three in your bed, you out of bed. Nina said her cat. It's an animal. It's a pet. It's a point. Carla said a book. That's a point. Patty Ann says a toy. Four points for Miss Patty Ann. Francis said the boy toy. That's five. Christine said a onesie. Damn. It's not on here. I'm giving you a point anyway, though. Because, damn. <laughs> and Miss Janice, I'm giving you two points. Gun? She brings a gun to bed? Well, you said marriage over. That's why I thought taser. That's a toy. Come on, get your outside. And we're going to give Mari a point just for running. Okay, last question. Give me a word starting with the letter L, which might describe a woman's lips. I didn't see your answer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll do the thing while everybody answers this question. I'm looking, Mari. Hold on. Oh, whoa, whoa. Mari said toy. She gets four. Let me just correct that. Sorry, babe. No touchy bang bang. <laughs> Give me a word starting with the letter L that might describe a woman's lips. In five, give me a word starting with the letter L that might describe a woman's lips. Four, three, two, one. I got you this time, Mari. I see you. I got to let the ooh in. the glass. Very disturbing. <laughs> All right. Number one answer. Luscious. Number two, lush. Number three, lovely. Number four, lustful or lusty. And number five, large. Patty Ann said lush. Four points for Miss Patty Ann. Luscious. Five points for Chris. Five points for Sash. Five points for Nina. Lusty. Two points for Miss Roseanne. Janice said, luscious. Five, Miss Janice. Zoe, lush. 
four points for Zoe. Mari, five. Carla, five. Candy, five. Christine, four. Francis, five. And that's it for the feud for this week. Leathery. <laughs> What? How come for those? Because my butt hurts, so I got this one. Okay. Little change up, you know? Okay. All right, let's add some points. Jennifer got 12. Cumulative counts, you know? Uh, Miss Mari, you got 5, 10, 15, 20, 27. Carla, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. 37. Niner, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 31. Candy, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 29. Zoe, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Christine, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Miss Francis, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Almost a perfect score. Sash, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 37. Patty Ann. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 34, 37, 38. Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 38. Chris, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. Miss Janice. 5, 10, 15, 21. And Roseanne, 5, 10, 15, 20. So this week's winner is Miss Francis. Yay. Oh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. <coughs> Top of this thing. Why? Anyway. All right. Miss Francis. Uh, you getting this pack of Project Life. All right. All right. Next week is the last week of the month. And we're going to move this out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and bring this over. And I'm going to go down this list one more time. All right. I have answers from Alexa, from Sharon, from Carla, from Tina, from Hags, Diane, um, Brian, Amy, Valeria, Francis, Heather, Misty, Arlene, Michelle, Mary, Adria, Mari, Patty, Ann, Jennifer, Zoe, Nina, Christine, Candy, Chris, Sash, Janice, and Roseanne. Okay. Is it the big stick? Oh, That's God, it. So there is to be no more answers. We're finally going to get to see what's in this thing. So 29 inches around, nine and a half inches tall. And absolutely chocked full. So we're going to pull it out one piece at a time. And we're going to count. P. 
piece is anything continuously attached. So that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, yes, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh, crap. 22. Ugh. Twenty-three. <laughs> what a mess. Twenty-four. <laughs> That's 25. All right. Creating knots. Let me see if I can get this untied. All right, 25. Counts, 26. <laughs> Twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, <clears throat> ooh, pretty, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, Thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. Forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, who we finally got a three, forty five, forty six. Forty seven. Wow. We're gonna be here all day. <laughs> right. Forty eight. 
All right, 51, 52, 53, 54. 55. 56. 57. 58. 59. 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, it's interesting. E five. Eighty six. Eighty seven. Eighty eight. Eighty nine. Ninety. Ninety one. Ninety two. 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Uh, let me grab a bag.
All right. All right, so that's 100 pieces. One bag. Here we go. 101. 102. 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 8, 9, wow, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Twenty one, twenty two, <laughs> twenty three, <laughs> twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. 30. 31. 32. 33. 34. 35. 36. 37. 38. 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, it's tied on, it counts as one, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, oh, not tied on. 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. 80. Yeah, this piece jumped to its death. 80. Okay. 81. 82. 83, 84, 85, it is one continuous piece, 
86, 87, 99. That's 200. Two hundred. Two a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, I'm being careful. There's a pin in there. 24. 25. 26. I got to count everything. 27. 27. There it is. 28. The last piece, that's 29. The only thing that's left in here is two pins. It should be empty. No, they didn't throw anything away. What did we say, 129? One twenty-nine. Okay. All right, let's see if anybody hit this. 229. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. 229. Hags had 129. Let's see. 229. Michelle. Michelle hit that right on the money. 229. Wow. Wow. All right. Dang. Okay. I honestly did not expect anybody to hit that right on the money. So the prize for this one is this set of uh, Timu stickers. They're washi stickers. There's, I think, 30 pieces in there. And that is the prize for the Guess the Jar game. <laughs> I 
All right, so that was that. Put that away. This, put this away. All right. So if anybody tried yesterday's video project and uh, you want to share, we would love to see it. So you could post it in the group. You know, anything that you guys do that's like, especially if it's from one of the videos that I do, I would really like to see how those things come out. So if, you know, you get a chance and you want to put it in there, just, you know, put it in. Next week would be the last Sunday of the month, which is Easter Sunday. Uh, we will be here. No idea, but we will be here. Uh, tomorrow's video is a Hobby Lobby dupe. I don't know what the hell it is. Let me look. Uh, I never know what anything is. I have an idea what I think it might be. Ah, uh, let's see. I need to go into the studio. Okay. Ah, okay. So I know what this one is. Okay. So let me show you. This is our Hobby Lobby dupe for tomorrow. Let me get this out of the way. So I was in the Hobby Lobby and I saw this and I was like, that's really cute. And I went over and um, I looked at it and it was god awful expensive. Like, who the hell's shopping at the Hobby Snobby that they can afford this crap? So I went to the Dollar Tree and I saw these frames. And I went, that's it. Um, so here's my Hobby Lobby dupe for tomorrow. Um, this is literally like... couple of bucks a piece, like a buck and a quarter a piece, buck 50 to make these. Okay. So this is the dupe that we're going to be doing tomorrow in uh, tomorrow's video. And uh, the frames, let me, I took this one out. I dropped it. So let me get the tape off there. So this is the frame <clears throat> that we're going to be using. <coughs> and this frame, um, I got it at the Dollar Tree. So a uh, buck 25 for the frame. And then um, this is just printed. So 
whatever it costs you in ink and then uh, the paper, which I believe is onion skin for this one. Um, so typing paper. And you end up with, you know, this gorgeous piece. So uh, this is tomorrow's Hobby Lobby dupe. And, you know, I'll be doing more dupes of Hobby Lobby stuff and things like that, you know. Um, so, you know, we'll, but that's tomorrow's, okay? So, you know, for... Four or five bucks, you could make some really nice pieces to put, uh, you know, in your living room or something. <sighs> or to give us gifts. Those would make beautiful gifts, you know. And believe it or not, the holidays are coming, you know. So, beautiful, inexpensive gifts. Okay. Uh, Hobby Lobby wanted, uh, for one, slightly larger. It was, it was slightly larger. And I have... Uh, I have it in there. I think it was 20 bucks or something like that. 1999 or 1599 or something. It was stupid. It was stupid for what it is. Um, but I do have the, the picture of the original uh, in the video and the cost and everything. And there he is. Yeah. He just couldn't make it a day. But uh, I saw it and I was like, oh my God, that is so pretty. It is so gorgeous. I would love to have that because I have these pieces in my living room that I want to replace. And I was like, ah, oh, that would be perfect. And I walked over and I looked at it and went, oh, oh no. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. He got a new collar. He got a little cat in the hat collar. He's very mad at me because I changed his collar. He liked his spooky Halloween one. Yeah. Everybody saying hi to you, Harry. By the way, today is Harry Houdini's 150th birthday. Our Harry's uh, namesake. Because that is his name. His name is Houdini, Harry Houdini. Is that His name's actually Houdini, but I call him Harry. Um, but yes, today is his namesake's 150th, would have been his 150th birthday today. Yes, yes, huh? Yes, you poor deprived kitty. <laughs> so our Harry is about seven years old now. He's a senior boy. They call that senior kitty, huh? Or senior kitty. <laughs> all right, so that's it, ladies. That's all I've got. Um, I got that dupe to do. I got a whole bunch of videos to record that I'm going to get done. At, at, nobody wants to see that. Seriously, nobody wants to see that. No. No. <laughs> no, he doesn't look a dough or 75. <laughs> um, let me think. Yeah, so that's all I got. Uh, check out the dupe coming up tomorrow. It's a, it's a great project. Very simple, very easy. Um, literally should be able to do it without the frames. Um, all right, that's it. <laughs> no kitty porn. <laughs> yeah, he's getting real comfortable. Um, and... Oh, and then next week we swap a we 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 do a Heidi swap. <laughs> yeah, that one's fun. Okay, uh, but that's it. That's all I have. Um, until I see you guys again, if you're new here and you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the button for me and subscribe. Uh, ugh, check out the community tab. That's going to tell you everything that you need to know about what's going on in my digital life and my regular life. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Check out the Facebook group. That's right. That's where we uh, started the whole guess what's in the jar uh, over on the Facebook group. So check that out. Make sure that you are a member over there as well because we do all kinds of fun stuff where we do, you know, 
I give away prizes or, you know, we do group community events and things like that. Um, so make sure that you check out the Facebook group. There's a link in the description box below. There's also a list over there that keeps you updated as to what's going on in my world. Uh, and uh, what else? That's it. Till I see you again. Stay well, my friends. Love you guys. Bye-bye.